Hello everyone, we will continue the topic about OOPs and in the previous videos, we started with the concept of alias. We firstly understood what alias is, what is the importance of alias in a BAP OOPs and in the previous video, we started with the practical part. As a part of the practical, we firstly created the interface after that, we simply used that interface in the class. Interface method is automatically appearing. We have written the logic inside the method. And after that, we simply, simply created the alias for that particular method. And we provided the visibility as public. Now, what I will do, I will simply go for the creation of the program and I will use this particular method in that program. So I will go for SC38 transaction code. I will give some name to the program. You all know first letter will be Z or Y. Suppose I will say Z sales order. Okay, suppose I will give Z sales order details. I will go for create. I will give the title to the program to display the sales order details. I will choose the type as executable program and I will go for save. I will save this as a local object. Now I will take a input into this program. Input will be sales order number. And I'm going for a single input. So I will take this as a parameter. Suppose P underscore VBELN. Type data element of VBELN. I will provide the selection text. Go to text elements. Selection text and I will take DDIC reference. This particular text is coming from data element. If I will run this program, you can see, yes, input is our input screen is red. Now I will call that particular interface method. Now you all know this method, this method is your instance method. Whenever you want to call the instance method, you can always call through object. So I will firstly declare the object. Then I will create the object. And with the help of object, I will call this method. So firstly, I will declare the object. Data. Hello underscore object type ref2 and I will give the class name. This is the class name. Now I need to create the object. You all know how to create the object. Create object hello underscore object. Now I will call this method. So I will simply go to pattern button. I will go to a map object patterns. What is the name of the instance? Hello underscore object. This is the name of the class. Now, whenever I will go to F for help, anyways, only one method is there and you can see it is appearing. I will go for OK. Now you can see this much big name interface name tilde operator method name as, as of now we will go by this way only what is your input p underscore v b e l n i will uncomment this for importing and i will declare the variables l v underscore e r dat l v underscore e r z e d t l v underscore e r num LV underscore VB. Now I will simply write these variables because I want to display the output. 
and you all know how you can display the output what is the statement right so i will simply write lv underscore er dat lv underscore er zdt lv underscore er num lv underscore pp i will check the syntax okay i need to declare these four variables so i sorry i forgot to declare these four variables date lv underscore er tag type er tag i will duplicate the line control d er z e t lv underscore er num lv underscore vp this is your erzet this is er num and this is vp typl i will check the syntax i will activate this program now whenever i am running the program you can see we have the expected result now, what people, what Dow SAP is saying, see, this is a very, very big name. Yes, it decreases the readability of the code. As of now, we are only calling one method. There are so many methods. So what SAP is saying, rather than going for this much big names, you can simply, simply create the alias. Anyways, we created the alias. So how we will use that alias? So for this particular method, for this particular method, what is the alias for the same? Get underscore data. So I will simply use that. Suppose I'm commenting this part so that there will not be any confusion. I'm simply doing the paste. Now, rather than going for this much big name, I will simply write get underscore data. There's no difference. There's no syntax error, nothing. So just see now how the readability of the code is increasing. Now, as of now, you can see the visibility of the alias is public. That's why I'm able to use this. Suppose if I'm simply, simply changing the visibility. Suppose if I will go for protected, this alias is protected. Protected map, protected, you cannot use outside. Yes, you cannot use outside this particular class. Now, if I will go for syntax check, it is giving me the error. Yes, get underscore data is protected or private. Suppose if I will go for simply private. Same thing in terms of method, yes. Anyways, you are calling the method with the hell. Now you have a alias, yes. Suppose now we simply provided the visibility of this particular method. Yes, this particular method has this particular alias and we say it is a private. Now I cannot use outside the class. So it is clearly saying it is protected or private. So I am simply, simply passing the visibility as public. Suppose if I am activating this. Now, if I will check the syntax and activate this, now you can see everything is perfectly fine. Now, last part, we'll simply understand the output in the debugging mode. Means we are getting the same to same output or not. It should not be the case that rather than that big name, we simply use the alias and output chain. Nothing. Output will be as it is. So I will put a breakpoint on the first executable statement. I will run this program. Suppose I am going for sales order number one. I will go to text of three. Yes. Now you can see as of now object is initial. Whenever this particular statement will execute, the object will create. Now the object created. If the object is created, can I call this instance method? Yes, I can call. Now we are using alias rather than this particular big name. Now, if I want to go inside this method, I will simply do F5. 
Now I am fetching that data of these four columns based upon this input and output will come to these four particular export I, I will do F6. You can see we have the output. Now we have the output ERDAT, ERZED, ERNUM, and VB type. And I'm simply displaying the output. And you can see we got the same to same output. So what is the summary of this particular video? Into this video, we simply, simply created the program. I took the input into this particular program using the parameter. I declared the object because the method is instance. So I need to declare the object. So I declared the object. I created the object and I called the method. Firstly, I showed you, yes, we are calling the method. We are not using the, a, we are calling the method, yes, using the pattern button. At that time, I have not used the alias and we got the output. Now, this is very big name, which decreases the readability of the code. So, what SAP is saying, yes, create the alias because this is the most, most important use. So, we already defined the alias that for this particular big name, this is the alias. So, I simply, simply used that particular alias. I showed you, yes, if you are changing the visibility to private and protected, you cannot use outside this particular class. Same thing when we covered the method. Yes, if a method is private or protected, you cannot use outside the class. Anyways, you are calling the method. Now you have an alias for that particular method. After that, I simply explained the output in the debugging mode and we got the same to same output. Now in the next video, rather than using the alias in the global class, now we will learn how to create an alias in the program itself using the local classes. Yes, how to create the alias there. So that's it into this video. Thank you.